Okay guys, so welcome back to my channel, The Black Widow here. So, we're now going to have a little chat about my pickups from the show, which I've been uh, super excited to show you guys. So we're gonna do that now. Okay, so let's start with this little one. And this is obviously an Avicularia Avicularia, or common name, some kind of pink toe. Uh, I don't really use common names. This one's a good size, but still a baby right now. Um, I got this one from Andy Orms at So Many Legs. Really, really awesome guy. So pretty. So yeah, this is my first purchase from Andy Orms at So Many Legs. Is the purple tree spider. This is a female, and. I cannot pronounce the um, the scientific name. She's absolutely stunning in person. I'm not going to be able to show you her full colours unless I was to um, to get her out, which I'm not going to be doing at the moment. Um, I will be rehousing her very shortly, but I need to get myself some more enclosures. Uh, she's hidden down there. So yeah, really happy with this purchase. Earth Tiger from Andy Orms at So Many Legs. These were pre-orders that I made. This one's already looking really pretty. It's kind of hard to see because it's only baby right now. But this will be absolutely stunning as it gets bigger. Okay guys, now this little beauty down here is probably the one that I am most excited about. This is a, a SB Backmar. And when it grows, it is absolutely gorgeous. As you can see, it's only baby right now, but it's already fairly pretty. So I will be excited to see the growth on this one. This one, next one, I got from the lovely spider shop. They were absolutely fantastic during the entire show, and I was incredibly um, happy with. Um, with their hospitality and just the way that they were they were really really friendly and uh, i was um blown away by their sort of kindness and how comfortable they made me feel it was really lovely to see them and i'm looking forward to staying at the next show so this is a new post Etheria, and it's a very very good size still not fully grown by any means and this is the tiger ornamental um, I can't pronounce the last bit of uh, its name and I try not to pronounce things that I don't understand because I just end up sounding really silly and butchering the name. And last, but certainly not the least, that's right, if you know what that name means, Heteropoda David Bowie, the Ziggy Starburst, you will know that it is a Huntsman. And it is a flipping fantastic huntsman at bat. It looks incredible. I'm not going to keep the lid open for too long because these things move like you would not believe. So. So guys, that is what I picked up from the show. It's not as much as I usually pick up. I actually had to make a very quick dash back home. My little girl was very poorly and I had a long drive ahead of me. Um, so I actually only stayed for maybe half an hour. I did get some footage and things like that, but I was really ashamed that I could not stay for longer. Otherwise, I would have spent much more money. I actually came home with a fair amount of money more than I was hoping for. So uh, before I end this video, I'm just going to put up um, a couple of shots of the next show that's coming up. Yep, that's right. There will be another show in seven weeks' time. Uh, in Bedford this time so you've got plenty of forewarning get yourself saving get yourself down there get yourself a hotel do whatever it is that you need to do to come down because I'm telling you you will not regret going to these shows if you, especially if you have never been one to one before they really are something to behold and it's not just about buying inverts there are there is a handling of exotic animals section get your kids involved um, it's truly amazing so Get yourself uh, down there if you can. So I will put up some photos now. 
Okay, so this is the Eastern Invert Show and it is on the 16th of September, which is a Sunday. The doors open at 11am till 4pm. It's £5 for an adult and £2 for a child. And uh, on the left-hand side, as you can see, there is the address and the postcode. It's about an hour and 30 minutes away from me. I'll be making the drive down the night before and staying in a hotel. So if anybody um, is staying in the hotel as well, um, I'll be it will be a lot of fun and uh, as usual when I get to the show I'll be um, going in slightly earlier helping set up do some recording and I'll be recording throughout the day but I will also be hanging around by the spider shop for so anybody that didn't get to see me um, at the last show you will get to see me at this one I will be there all day 100% I promise and you can get the photos that you were asking for okay so here's another little look at um, one of the posters that we have the Eastern Invert Show. I'm super excited for this one just as excited as I was for the last one but even more so now that I know what to expect from the night before and what to expect the day of the show. I will be here at this one for much longer. I had a few people emailing me saying oh I didn't see you um, at the spider shop sh at the you know stall and I was hoping to get a picture with you and things like that. Um, I'm really really sorry as I said I did have to dash off my baby was very poorly at the time. So I will absolutely be at this one. I will be here all day. Uh, I will be here early, in fact. You will probably see me hanging around outside, videoing the queue line, and then heading back inside to video before um, everybody else makes their entrance. And uh, yeah, so you will see in a minute briefly, it will pop up. Um, it says featuring livestock suppliers. And there is also... Um, specialist equipment there will also be a kids handling section which um will be absolutely amazing for any kids that are you know really excited about um learning about inverts or uh, there is also exotic animals there it will not just be inverts um the exotic animals are not for purchase it is just for handling purposes and to learn so I also wanted to touch upon these guys, Bugfest, they're absolutely awesome. They also attend these invert shows and they bring a selection of insects and things um, for your children, adults, anybody to come and have a look at and handle. And they do like a talking um, section, which is absolutely amazing. So on Saturday the 27th of October, um, I believe this is down in Somerset, they are doing a Halloween um, Bugfest show. So get yourself down there as well guys uh, this will be the first bug fest that i'm going to and i'm really excited about it